Uh, well, we haven't uh, said much about instance initialization blocks yet, so um, whereabouts do they uh, get run? Well, um, it turns out that um, any instance initialization code is in fact inserted by the compiler after every call to super. And of course, um, there may be more than one instance initialization block, and um, if there is, um, they're executed in the order they are declared as in fact our um, instance um, initializer expressions and in fact um, any instance variable initialization is in, in fact done in the order it is declared and um, there are some restrictions on forward references in initializers and um, I'll come to those very shortly um, but in the meantime let's just uh, take a look at this example here um, this is uh, class C here with uh, a bit of initialization going on and uh, here's the constructor and um, as you can see this constructor hasn't got anything in it so the first thing that happens is uh, the compiler will put uh, super in and uh, our following super of course is going to be any initialization code according to this rule here so it will insert the initialization code of this and if you look at that that's um, starts with uh, max equals 3 and then we get this chunk of code there and uh, then the next thing is that chunk of code there and then finally min equals 0 and all that code there will be inserted into that constructor and it's done by the compiler and if you look that's exactly what it does if you look at the bytecode and um, uh, after every super in fact if there's some other constructor that called super then everything from max 3 down to min equals naught would be inserted after that call to super and uh, that's what happens um, in order to um, prevent certain sorts of uh, circular definition um, there are certain uh, prohibitions on forward references and uh, this applies to um, instance initializer blocks and to um, instance field initializers, variable initializers. Now, first, um, uh, methods and constructors can have um, any sort of forward references, so so this doesn't apply to them. Um, and also, since um, static variables are initialized before instance variables, any sort of reference to um, a static variable is allowed in, a, in an in initializer. Now, um, what's prohibited is um, any forward reference to a field using a simple name on the right-hand side of an assignment. And uh, when we discuss nested classes, we see that um, inner classes, by the way, are in a similar sort of position to methods. Now, um, uh, here's an example to uh, illustrate what I mean. Uh, here's a, a block here which um, starts there and, and there. It's an initializer block. And uh, what we got here is um, x equals 90. And um, that's okay because the x, although it's a forward reference, is, is on the left hand side of the equals sign. So that's okay. Uh, here we've got um, something uh, uh, similar to that. And um, it's okay again because x is on the left hand side. And um, if you remember what this means it's that gets evaluated x equals 99 gets evaluated first and the result of that expression the value of it is then assigned to y so in fact x is not actually being read there it's the value of the assignment is being retained and stored in y uh, here's something which is a very straightforward error because uh, x is uh, forward there and it's on the right hand side so it's not allowed is something uh, which is also uh, an error and that's because uh, that is effectively the same as y equals y plus 1 and that, therefore y is on the right hand side and it's a uh, forward reference uh, y equals z um, well, uh, that's okay because as though z is a forward reference it's, it's static uh, and so being static it's, it's being already done first so that's, that's quite okay um, 
y equals m of x. Well, that's an error again because x is um, a forward reference and it's on the right-hand side of this equals sign, so uh, that's not allowed. Even though, in fact, it never gets used in here, it doesn't matter, it's not allowed. Okay, y equals uh, m and uh, this dot x. Well, uh, that's in fact okay because this dot x is not a simple name. It's uh, you've gone out of your way in a sense to to uh, get the value of x like that. So the compiler, I suppose, lets you lets you get away with it, basically. Um, and similarly, um, super dot followed by any sort of field that would be okay as well. Okay, so neither of that uh, that's not a simple name, so you can do it. How about this um, y equals p of something um, that's quite okay and um, even though it turns out that that returns x that's okay so here y is being set to x and you're doing it deviously as it were so of course y in that case would be uh, uh, 99 because it's set up there if that compiled which of course it won't uh, right uh, C down here, that's quite okay again because constructors can do anything, they're, they're quite okay. And uh, similarly, these are fine. So uh, now, when we come to um, uh, look at static initializers, um, some very similar sort of rules apply to static stuff as well. Static initializers, we have static in front of this, same sort of thing, prohibition on forward references occurs are there. And it, uh, then, of course, it's we're only looking at static. Uh, static fields, because of course, um, static initialers have got no access to any instance stuff. 